guys, welcome to How To Live Your Style. I'm Shara and today I'm gonna show you guys how to decorate your dorm room two different ways. Take a look to my right, take a look to my left. I'm gonna show you how to get these two different looks for not that much money and not that much time. Let's get started. For this one, you're gonna need a colorful placemat, a wooden dowel, some leather string, a pair of scissors, a nifty glue gun. And if you're doing this for your dorm room, like most of you probably will be, and you can't make holes, I recommend getting some 3 in command hooks. That way you don't make a mark on your walls. And we're gonna use a dowel. I just started to eat my hair there. Don't know if you saw that, that was awkward. Take your placemat, and you're gonna fold the corners in to the center. And then make a little crease. You're gonna open this bad boy up using your glue gun and you are going to line the side of it. You're gonna like load this sucker up with some hot glue, okay? You guys can also use fabric glue if you'd like. Make sure you get the corners really good, that way it sticks. Fold it to the center. Then you just wanna push down. Make sure you get a nice crease. The stronger the crease, the more of a defined point you're gonna get, which is always good. Then. Just do the other side. You're gonna want it to match that same point perfectly. I just keep touching the glue. I don't know what my problem is. So next, you're going to glue the dowel down to the top of the placemat by making a little bit of a hole at the top and make sure that these guys are centered on either side. Do what you gotta do, but make sure that they are even. Push really hard down on that, smooth it out. Make sure it's attached to the dowel. And you, my friend, have a perfect decor piece for your wall. I'm using this suede. I'm just gonna wrap mine around a couple of times. And I'm gonna tie mine off on the back side. Now, I don't want mine to be wrapped like next to each other, so I'm kind of trying to wrap it on top of each other like this. You want to tie it off on the back. So now, you have a perfectly adorable wall hang for your wall. Super cheap, super easy, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this thing functional and not just fashionable. Just wait to see what I have in store for it. Okay, so now we are going to DIY our own headboard for your dorm rooms. Now you have to measure your bed first. You want the width of this bad boy to go all the way past your mattress because you don't want it to fall on you. If you're using it on a bed in your dorm, you're not gonna need to secure it to the bed because it'll go wide enough that it'll just slide right behind your mattress in your bed. When you get your fabric, make sure you get enough fabric to go a few inches over the sides. So you're gonna first take your quilt batting and you want to wrap it around your plywood to make it a little more cozy than being plywood. You wanna wrap around as many times as you can. You're gonna flip it over and then you're going to staple it to the back side. Okay? This is the fun part, people. I think I have wood in my mouth. If you want, you can always cut the corners off. That way you don't have this like big lump. That way you can fold it and and you're going to take this side that you just padded, stick that sucker facing the bottom of the print. The back side is up to you. So you're gonna take the fabric here or on a corner and you're gonna pull it tight where it's stapled and then you're gonna pull the side, but you kinda want this side crease like that. And get your thumb out of the way so that you can staple. So we stapled the batting, we stapled the fabric. 
Are you ready to see the big reveal? Ta-da! I think I'm finally ready to make a bed. So for these curtains, you're gonna need six yards of tool, some gold scissors, some more 3M command hooks. Okay, so when you guys are hanging your curtains for your bed, use 3M hooks and put them on the ceiling. And when this little guy comes down, you can just hook the fabric right onto it. That way you don't have to nail anything and they will come off whenever you're done. So for this last DIY, we're gonna add some ambiance to your dorm room. Oh dear, some heavy ambiance. All you need is a string of white Christmas lights and First thing you're gonna do, you need a pen. I meant to tell you that. Hopefully you have a pen somewhere in your house. You're gonna take your ping pong ball. You gotta be careful because these things are really, really delicate. Take your pen and you are going to, with one hand, hold it really tight. With another, push all the way in until the biggest part of the pen is in. Make a little bit of a wider space. And then when you pull it out, you'll hear an air pop. And so if you did, Compress the ball in in any weird form. The air section, when it releases, it will pop the air right out. So it'll be round again. Then you just go ahead and put your ball in there. And it's perfect. I'm gonna put every two lights, I'm gonna put a little ball. Ta -da! All right. Now it's time to hang them. Ooh, that is so cute. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna show you guys two very different styles. One is a little bit more sophisticated. The other, as I like to call it, is a little more of an Aztec chic. I like to call it the boho babe. For this look, I did make another one of those fabric wall hangs. I used the same exact method as the one I showed you earlier. Fold, glue, dowel, glue, and hang. A little bit of an Aztec touch, I think. Ta-da! Now, and how cute are the lights? The lights are so adorable, and how cute is the headboard? I could live in this room, even though it's in the offices and the bed is on a plastic table. out what I do with this thing to use as a very functional art piece? Can you guess? I'm gonna give you a hint. It's a way to organize something that you wear. If you do, leave me a comment. And if you're right, I'll think of something. Maybe. Are you ready to see option number two? Let me show you. Voila! It's totally different in here. And I only changed like three things. I just thought this was a lot more kind of chic and a little more fabulous, you know? It's a little more mature. I threw in some new pillows right here, two beaded ones, one that says a fabulous saying, and then maybe something extra with some tassels or some fringe. I mean, can't go wrong with fringe. And look at this headboard. How cool is this? I took two rugs from Target, put them on the wall with 3M hooks, that way you don't make any holes. And if you turn the top part over, the little tassels hang down and it adds a little extra fringe and something really fun. My mother taught me that. Thanks, Mom. Now where did my hook go? Oh, dear. And last but not least, this cute little lamp. It's gold and it matches the palette and it gives, I have different like, shades, that's the trick. You don't want all the same shade of the same color. You can have the same kind of color, but they need to be different shades. That way you kind of mix it up a little bit. Keep your bedding white and you can have several different styles all throughout your college or high school years in your bedroom. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this how to decorate your dorm room video. Come back next week and you guys will find out how to organize your dorm room. 
Also, before you leave, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Tell me which one you liked better. And I hope you guys have a fabulous school year. And you're going to want to see next week. Remember this thing? And then the turquoise one? We're going to show you something really cool with that. So, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Ah! I thought that was going to hurt so bad. But it didn't. Did they even hit me? Let's get started. According to my videographer. I call it tool, he calls it mosquito netting. Clearly, one of us camps and the other one doesn't. <laughs> nope, okay. Goodbye, lovely.